Joining us on the line now, the anchor of Special Report at the Fox News Channel, Brett Baer. How are you there, Brett? Hey, good morning. You know, if I were going to have a, a newscaster's draft, you'd be my first round pick. Oh, that's fair enough. I just want you to know that. Fair enough. All right, so look, uh, you got the up on Capitol Hill. We've decided there's going to be a, a select committee investigation on the issue of Benghazi. But it seems to me this is going to be immensely political because the Democrats, number one, they can't decide whether or not they're even going to participate. And then the, the talk has been the, the accusation talking point from the Democrats has been, uh, oh, look, the Republicans are only doing this because they want to raise money on the backs of this issue. Uh, it's going to get ugly, don't you think? It will get ugly. Um, you know, to listen to Dre Gowdy on a, a number of different interviews, uh, it sounds like he's, you know, going to to organize it as a fact-finding mission and go after facts and um, and avoid speeches and uh, grandstanding. At least that's um, what he's, his hope is, and, and that has been the problem, as you know, Brian, about uh, some of these committees, is that a five-minute session for questioning, four minutes of it has been uh, speechifying. Mm-hmm. And I think, um, you know, it is potentially a problem for the Republicans if the RNC... Excuse me. Bless you. Ooh. Ooh, bless you there. Yeah, everybody, there's a lot of pollen out there, Everybody's right there. Everybody's struggling. The allergies <laughs> kicking in. Um, if the RNC is is continuing to raise money on this, um, listen, it's a it's low hanging fruit uh, to go after, and um, and you've heard Trey Gowdy say, you know, that shouldn't be done. Uh, you've had heard others argue uh, the other way, but it, it it just it does cloud the the whole situation if you're going after a fact finding mission. Uh, Brett, let me ask you though a little bit about this committee because you know apparently Nancy Pelosi has not decided yet whether she'll allow her caucus to participate. There's some question maybe they'll send one person. Yeah. But one of the arguments in favor of the Democrats boycotting from the Democrats' perspective is, listen, if we don't participate, that means it won't get as much media coverage, which I found to be a fascinating, fascinating admission of how the media operates in this town. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I mean, listen, the bottom line of this thing is they have to find something. They have to find something that wasn't un- uncovered already. Yes. And if that happens, uh, and Democrats aren't a-, a part of it, it still happened. And so... Um, well, and actually that would damage the Democrats even more, because they're claiming there's nothing to be found here, and then if something is found, they're, you know, they're not part of that. Yeah, and right now it's a hypothetical, but if they come to the table with uh, some new information, I would think that... Um, I would think that people would have to cover it. Uh, I don't know. I've seen this story go up and down as far as coverage, uh, but I, I do think that um, with with advancing of the storyline, uh, if there's well, more to it, then they have to cover it. I do think the Democrats will play ball, but it may be this one member. I'm, I'm hearing more and more about that, uh, sending a message that they don't really want to be a part of it, but they still want to have the a voice in the room behind the scenes. All right, so uh, let me ask you, you're a guy who knows this story as well as anyone. Uh, The Fox News Channel, and specifically your show, Special Report, has been at the forefront of covering this issue. Do you think that there's still stuff to be found out here? I think there's still stuff to be found out, yes. I mean, I think that there are uh, people asking questions that have not been answered. And um, I think that because that email came out that the White House did not put out a year ago after a congressional subpoena, um, I think it opened the door to what else is there. For example, I mean, there's a communication of seven uh, pages of emails about our report in the first days that the U.S. government and the administration knew it was a terrorist attack uh, in the first 24 hours. That was our report. It's actually, they knew it as it was happening, um, according to intelligence officials. So uh, that story was passed around to a bunch of people in, in the administration, and there's a seven-page email that's been redacted, and, and they're not releasing. And they're saying that it is uh, executive communication. Yeah, pre-decisional and deliberative in nature. and, and About communication. Right. And, and so... You know, what is, what's that about? Well, I wonder, you know, they also say that uh, there are additional documents being processed right now for Congress review. And my my response to that was, dude, it was like two years ago. (laughs) What's taking you so long? Yeah, exactly. Hey, uh, Uh, Brett. And I also think that the fact that, you know, no one has been found, um, 
the fact that you know no one has been arrested or or killed or captured um, be, uh, as a result of this is is pretty stunning. Uh, Brett Brian pointed out that uh, you are one of the journalists, and and your your program, Special Report, is one of the programs. Uh, your whole team there covered the Benghazi story like like no one else. There's another story that you've covered, I think, much differently than other media outlets in this town, and that's the Edward Snowden NSA story. And I understand you've got a special tomorrow night. What what are you going to be focusing on on your on your NSA special? Yeah, it's an hour special. We've been working months on it, uh, and I really think it is a I mean, not to pat ourselves on the back, but a really fair look at all sides of this issue. If you haven't been following this, if you want to know, you know, National Security Agency, what it's doing, uh, what the critics are concerned about, we have all sides. We have whistleblowers. We have the former director, his predecessor uh, as well. And we have uh, congressional members who lay out their concerns about it. Uh, we lay the whole thing out in uh, the chron chronological order of Edward Snowden, how it happened, and what they're doing. And we take you inside the NSA, some things we haven't even shown yet, uh, inside National Security Agency. So um, we've spent a lot of time on it. It's tomorrow night at uh, 10 p.m. and Sunday night at 9 p.m. Wow, I can't wait to Very see cool. that. Very cool. That'll be great. Uh, the IRS thing, is that going to get any traction? Uh, you know, it depends on, on what happens with, um, you know, I don't think these votes to get a special counsel uh, are going to go very far. It's the DOJ has to make the decision. Um, but the contempt charge that the House voted on for Lois Lerner the other day seems to have spurred um, her attorney to produce more documents. Yeah. So they have... Uh, apparently gotten more emails and more documents from Lois Lerner. But it lands on the desk of Ronald Machen, the U.S. attorney. Uh, is this a guy who has an independent streak, or will he just do what he's told to by uh, Eric Holder? You know, I don't, I don't know. You hope that they, um, the position is to, to um, do it fairly, and uh, that's, what, um, that's what all these guys are charged with doing. And, um, you know, the Justice Department, you hope uh, that that's what happens. I, I don't know how far it's going to go. I think these new documents um, will be interesting for the investigators to look through. Brett Bear, real fast, uh, uh, iconically, right outside your window there on Special Report, we see it every night. It's the Union Station. Uh, any thoughts about renaming it Harry S. Truman Union Station? Really? Yeah. yeah oh, yeah, they, they're pushing that. It's the most important building at Fox News because that's where everybody goes to lunch. <laughs> yeah, that's very true. <laughs> a block away. Uh, sure, why not? Harry All right. Truman Union Station. All right. <laughs> Thanks, Brett Bear. On the record. <laughs> Have a good weekend. Thanks.